Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Plays and the continuation of Banjo-Kazooie <laughs> on uh, the Nintendo Switch Online expansion service. How's everybody doing? Yay! <clears throat> and today we're going to be going to the Treasure Trove, I believe is what the uh, next level's called. <laughs> oh boy. And here comes the song! Don't interrupt the song, Luke! We need to hear it all! There's the song. Yeah! Okay. So apparently, what makes this so interesting, like, the instruments are in sync, but they also were in a frame rate delay originally on the N64, so the composer <gasps> actually, like, composed with, like, you know, a little break in between, so it looked like everything was in sync. Also, oh, wow. <clears throat> when they re-released this on Xbox a couple years ago, a lot of people's complaint was the game didn't feel like the original N64 because the frame rates were faster. Oh. So, like, the music felt off and some of the jokes that were all timed to the music didn't really hit as well. So yeah. this is a authentic, like, you know, That's as so good as you cool. can get version of Banjo-Kazooie. It's better than the N64 one, but it still feels like the N64 one. So Nintendo is basically better at reposting their older content than other companies. So. Yep. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining this stream, this series, look, because so many people love this game. So many people love Banjo. All right. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into where we were last time. There we go. Yeah. Treasure Trove Cove. Treasure Trove Cove with pirates and all this other things. Yes. Our oh, matey, we be hunting for treasure here. Be we doing that, yar? Oh, everyone gives us your best pirate speech in the chat. The theme song is so hillbilly, so so age. Good. I like it, <laughs> but it is kind of hillbilly banjo. Yep. All right, so how do we get inside? I love inside? banjo because in Kazooie says Shabazz. Awesome! That's awesome, Shabazz. Hey, Laser Taser. Hey, Akmon. Hey, Billy. Great to see you, Deanna. I was taking a nap earlier and I did some Shining Pearl and before Legends of Arceus comes out. Awesome, Deanna. Yep. Hey, hey Shabazz says, Hey, K-Wings. Ahoy there! This is Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves here. Har. Here. Uh, there. Dar be there, two yeah. So we're already starting collecting uh, notes, like, off the get-go. <laughs> um, tonight's ultimate stream, guys, is for Colorado. It is Batman Blackgate Part 5. It's been a while since Blackgate, but um, that is tonight. And then tomorrow is um, our our guy, the Chad's uh, Monster Hunter stream. And then Ruga wow. and Mystery and other people's remaining streams are this week. So. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There we go. Um, but Banjo is supposed to be every day at 5, but I had, um... I could tell you the story. What happened was, last night I got mad, and I had been working on a um, documentary that's not ready yet, but I basically lifted part of my documentary, the story behind Ben Affleck's Batman, and I just did kind of like a Spotify podcast version, you know, just talking about the movie and being very careful to put in my own words because I don't know if you know this or not, but if you leak a, a Hollywood script, you can get sued. So I couldn't just like read the script the way it was. Like I basically paraphrased things and, you know, did everything I could to try to keep it, uh, like keep me safe, keep Amber safe. Mm -hmm. um, because no, I, I do not have the full script, but I've heard the script read and I've heard aspects of the script So I just had to change things into my own words and you know do the best I could But um, my, okay. my documentary was something I've been working on for months and it's not ready yet But basically yesterday what happened was my hand was forced because there was a new rumor that went out that was false like you know how when when um, people release stuff and uh, it does really well and it trends. Well, unfortunately, the bad rumor was trending. And it was just like, basically everybody makes Jeff Johns like the, the boogeyman of the Snyder Cut and the, you know, Snyder fans. And they were saying that he was responsible for canceling Ben Affleck's Batman movie, which wasn't true. Yeah, I don't know what so, people have against Jeff Johns. Like, why did he get accused of all this stuff? He's the boogeyman. He's He's made some mistakes, but like, not everything is his fault. Like, you know, he's back at DC again and... There's all this other stuff, and people just basically, when you cancel somebody, they want you dead in a ditch. They want you never to be able to work again. 
Uh, they call that consequences for the actions. It's not just, oh, okay, you know, you did this, this was wrong, you were gone for a while, and it's like, no, they want you, that group wants people dead and gone. Like, if you made a mistake, you're dead. They want you on the street. Yeah, they, it's a, they don't want you to make any uh, money again. I have to say, well, I could just let you keep talking. No, I've, 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 seen, I've seen people say that kind of stuff. So, oh, you know, wow. I, I saw that thing. I'd been working on this video for months, and I was just like, you know what? Skip this. And I just, uh, I set up my microphone, and I just recorded the, the script. Like, I took 30 minutes, and I mm -hmm. talked about the movie. My documentary is like an hour and 15 minutes long, so, I mean, you know, I just basically lifted a part of the, the video. I go into more detail on the video I've been working on, but I just did a synopsis of what the story was. People seem to like it, and also people are sad because they were like, oh, this is this is what, you know, I would have loved to see. And it's like, yeah, definitely. Oh, you guys have your pirate stuff in the chat. <clears throat> That's right, our matey. So, long story short, basically, because I did that, um, it, I just didn't really sleep much after that. Because it's like, I worked really hard on that, the short was late, everything was late because I worked on that Batman video. And whenever I work on Batman videos, I tend to, like, uh, my whole day gets thrown out of whack. So, instead of Banjo being at 5 o'clock, it had to be moved to 8 o'clock because I needed to sleep. And then Amber also, like, she kept, she lost things and she kept waking me up. And I didn't even know what day it was because I would, I would finally fall asleep. And I'd think, oh, okay, I have, you know, until 8 o'clock to sleep and Amber would keep waking me up. Um, with little problems. She lost her glasses, she couldn't find the disc for the Avengers game, then she lost the Injustice disc, and it was just... Ugh. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And th then I had to find the glasses when I was like half awake. I had to find the Injustice disc, which the Injustice disc was, disc was really easy to find. Her glasses were a chore because Amber always finds new places to hide her glasses. It's like... <laughs> Subconsciously, I find a place where she's always hid them, and it's easy to find them. Now I have to look in the most bizarre places possible to find them. It was just kind of like, ugh. So that's why the stream was delayed today. Yeah, well, uh, there's a little tray table that has like our gloves, shoes, and masks. And for some reason, I hid it behind all the. That's not. This that's stuff. not a tray table. That's where you would go to. Um, it's like a. To, it's like a a little little tray cart. Like, yeah, it's a little cart. Where you it stick has, mail on, normally. It has mail and stuff, so I yeah. put my glasses there behind, behind the behind. mask box. Not not just like you stuck it on there. It's like you accidentally stuck it behind something, so of course you wouldn't be able to see it. So it's... Mm. Oh, this reminds me of um, Donkey Kong a little bit, this level. Dance97 says, R, your matey walks a plank. Yar. Treasure is mine, your matey. The treasure she be mine. Keep away from me, booty. R, says to me. Uh. <clears throat> Amber and Luke, what magical power should Amber and Luke have? Um, I don't know. Like if we were in this game or just in general, Shabazz? I don't know. Um, I don't know. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At least that better be easy, bug eyes. Simple enough, even for you, bird brain. Just stand on the flying disc and press A. There's the 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you there, eh? Um, Andrew Martin says, Nothing like a stroll on the beach with the bird and bear duo. To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Oh, wow, there we go. Use the A button and remember that the beaky can only carry 50 of them. Oh, oh okay. Shabazz says, R, matey. How does one land? R, he didn't, I, matey. He didn't tell you how to land. He just tells you how to fly. How do you land? Um, you have to, like, uh, I think ground pound to land. As far as I remember. How do you ground pound? Oh, uh, did they not teach us how to do that? No, they just taught us how to fly. I think you just have to, like, just, like, basically careen into it, like, oh, That's crash. a terrible idea. I think you have to crash land your nose into it. Uh, I, Captain Luke, and first matey, Amber. I... I ma mage wolf. I pretty much just crashed. How ye be doing? I just, I just crashed. Timmy says, R, swap the poop deck. Yes. Oh my gosh. Right. There we go. All right. 
That's how we do, do we that. Do we like Little Mac? Like Little Mac from the from game? From Punch Out? Yeah. yeah. Punch Out's a great game. You, you use the red feathers da, wisely da, when you fly, da, says OH. Da, 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 da. Because da, 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 da. Deanna has a pirate jokes. Let's see. Um. Wait, I thought. Oh, yeah, somebody. Oh, wait, somebody had a pirate joke. Someone has a joke. Yeah, so, I mean, that's why I was kind of preoccupied, is because, like... Oh, you guessed it, Deanna. When when people go out and they lie and they try to smear people, and it's like... It'd be one thing if they actually did leak, like... Uh, um, <clears throat> It'd be one thing if they actually did leak what the, the truth was about the movie, but they lied and they said the movie was about something else that... You know, the actor Joe Maganello, the guy who played Deathstroke... Ben Affleck and other people that were a part of the cinematography and things have said about the movie that was canceled, you know, and it didn't match up with anything that I'd been studying for the past, like, year. So I was just like, you know, this is a false rumor and it's getting a lot of traction on Twitter, like, thousands of retweets and, you know, people, like, calling for the death of Jeff Johns again. It was just a mess. So I was just like, you know, that's it. So I stayed up. I, I did the podcast. I uploaded it. And uh, then I made that really cool thumbnail with uh, Ben Affleck versus Deathstroke. And I had to actually make the logo for the Batman because there was no, you know, they never got around to the logo stage. In fact, did you know the movie actually wasn't supposed to be called The Batman? That was its working title. They had another name that they were going to call the movie. All right. Very cool, Luke. Mm -hmm. um, Timmy Sailor Venus says, why couldn't the 11-year-old get into the pirate movie? Because... And Deanna says... Because it was rated R. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> good one. Very good one, uh, Timmy and Deanna. Great job, guys. Good one, good one. Yar, you be, you be funny people. Okay, people say so Little Mac sucks in Smash, Raphael. He's supposed to, though. He doesn't suck. He just has really bad... Uh, he doesn't have a very good recovery if he gets pushed off the edge. Right, he has a bad recovery. But he has a lot of other thing, good things about him. He's a lot of fun to play as. Mm -hmm. Especially if you play on a stage where you can't get hit off the edge, then he's really good. He has a really packs a really powerful punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Amber's gonna end up taking uh, the uh, booty from from Luke. Yeah. Excuse I, me. I don't know. What? I don't know. Okay. Oh, the treasure. Treasure. Okay. All right. I just woke up. Treasure. Guys. I just woke up. A shiver me timbers. Like, give me... Everyone has to, uh, are you mateys? Kaling is a little, like, uh, out of it when I first wake up. It takes me a while to know where I am, what I'm doing. I'm a pirate, says Cassie. She's got a little parrot there. Mm. Break the lighthouse door, says, uh, Doom soon. Break the door? Hello, J88. Great to see you, Mac Daddy. Hey, Roberto. Hey, Melanie. Great to see you, Queen. Uh, hey, hi, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Oh, it's a different Carlos, but hello, Carlos. Hello, uh, other Carlos. Um, hello, Joey. How are you guys doing? I got a guidebook for Batman Arkham Knight a couple weeks ago. Okay. Add to my Batman collection. Awesome. Very cool. How are you supposed to get up there? I hope you enjoy that Batman uh, book. Very cool. Um, sounds cool, Joey. Hello, Nintendo lover girl. Great to see you, Roberto. Hi, I'm Jaehoon. Great to see you, Timmy and Mary. Hey, Luigi, fun time. Hope you guys enjoy your... I hope you find your adorable glasses. So you can see Luke's eyes and smile. That's very sweet, Luigi, fun time. She just needs to be able to read. Um, I have I have my glasses. Luke found, found them. them. He found them for me. That's why... I, Thank yeah. you, Luigi, fun time. That's why we were a little late, because I mm -hmm. have to read the bird. Hmm... If you need to fall from a high place, says Jess. Oh no. Ground pounding before falling prevent, oh. prevent you from getting fall damage. Oh my gosh! You can die! Don't touch the edge oh. right after ground pound though. Um, like I said, see I was correct about that. So you can ground pound to land. Mm. So once you see your shadow over something, you can ground pound. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, here? I, see, I see. Remember playing Mario games and you'd see your shadow over a block, and then you just like pound into it, like ground pound. 
I don't think Luke cared what I said. Died. Amber has lost her glasses again, says Tom, and uh, says Yes. Whoopsies. Pirates are awesome! Definitely, Mac Daddy. Mm. Let's go, Ratchet and Clank 64, says Jay. Wait, no, Jay, this isn't... Uh, oh, well, you know what? It's fine. Sure, Ratchet and Clank! Let's go, Jay! What magic power should be in Marvel if you were the Marvel... Universe, Amber and Luke. Ow. What kind of magic powers would people have? I don't know anything about magic, you guys. Um, In fact, I don't. I don't really know a lot about superheroes. I just know Batman. I know Scarlet Witch has cool mind control powers. Uh, Shabazz. Um, what kind of magic powers would you guys put in the Marvel universe if you could add any magic powers? I would make. Um. I, I think that adding a character like Vixen into the Marvel Universe would be cool. So, like, Vixen, she can turn into different animals uh, with her kind of magic powers. It's kind of, like, connected to the universe. I'm sorry, did I hear that right? Did you say you would add Vixen into the Marvel Universe? No, I would add a character, character like, like Vixen, Vixen. Okay. that could turn into different animals with her magic powers. Okay. I also like the character... Well, I mean, Shazam is cool, but... He's in the DC universe. Um, I basically steal characters from DC and put them in Marvel. Uh, let's see. Magic powers. Um, well, I mean, Doctor Strange has some cool magic powers. Why not a... Um... Oh. <laughs> it goes forward and back. The eggs. It's so funny. There we go. I'm learning. <gasps> it's a oh my gosh! Why? Watch out! He's gonna eat you. Okay, let's not do that. That's terrifying. She doesn't turn into animals. She adapts their abilities. Oh, really? I thought she turned into them. No. Really, couch? Oh. Well then. If she doesn't turn into them, then I'd make a Marvel hero that can turn into animals. There you go. Like Beast Boy, but with magic. There you go. That's what I would do, um, Shabazz. I think that would be cool. I also think, um, somebody that could... I think that having a cool... I think you would... You know what would be a great hero that they've never done? Make a genie as a superhero. So the genie could make a magic carpet, they could make gold appear out of nowhere, and they'd be like a superhero, but a genie. Mm. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay. It'd be based off of genie from Aladdin, and it'd be blue. Okay. It'd be fun. Disney had so All right, fine. We'll make him purple so that he doesn't get copyright. Yep. Uh, Disney owns genie, so... Oh, there you go. So make genie a superhero. That would be cool. Okay, Shabazz says what he would make. A heat beams. It would have heat beams, bolts to fly, um, and mind control. Okay. So to make. Uh, you'll reach uh, new heights with my shock jump. There we go. Oh, does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Uh, don't worry. The turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Okay. Nice going. You've learned all the cove's new moves. Thank you, guy. All right, Amber. All right, Shabazz says heat beams, bolts, flying, uh, something. And mind control so Luke can... Mind control to make Luke sing the Banjo-Kazooie song. That would be awesome. I would love to make people sing. That's great, Shabazz. Oh, no. Amber and Velma are the same person, says Andrew. It's possible. Vixen doesn't turn into animals, says many people in the yeah, chat. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, Aladdin's my favorite, says Cassie. Oh, shoot. Marvel should add a character with a keyblade. In a ten dollars Spider-Man costume, <coughs> Jr. Zoo. It's not my real call. Come down, please. No, I know. Um, I wish Alpha. Th I s actually, but Scarlet Witch was a mutant. I thought, because she's Magneto's daughter after all. 
That's true. She was. That's true, Deanna. So she doesn't actually use magic, I guess. She has mutant powers. I guess it's hard for me to understand. Sons of Gaming says, but a, a, di a Jin would be a villain in real life because they are not as nice as the one in Aladdin. That's probably true. But I would make him a good genie. Uh, yep, there can be good pirates and bad pirates. I agree with that, Mac Daddy. Maybe some... The Dread Pirate Roberts? Ah! In uh, Princess Bride? Ah! Also, also, um... Oh no, but yeah, in real life, probably, no! probably be all No! I can't see! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're getting ah! me by a shark! Ah! You're doomed. You're doomed. <clears throat> oh, I have to get some more tea. But yeah, I agree, some pirates are nice, like, um, because, um, 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 uh, Johnny Depp as a pirate was nice. Mm. What? Nothing. Uh, what was his name again? The pirate he played? Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> I'm sorry! Wow. I don't know why I keep forgetting things! Captain Jack Sparrow was a nice pirate, well, kind I mean, of. You do lose your glasses. Like, you're mm -hmm. much older than you are. United Thrive says, I like Andrew Garfield's fight with Killer Croc. It was cool. Awesome, United Thrive. Andrew Garfield? Huh? I don't know. Maybe in the, maybe in the game? What? Andrew Garfield's never fought Killer Oh, Croc. the lizard, you mean. The lizard. Wait, maybe you were just pulling my leg. I down. think someone was just joking okay. with me. It's distracting. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, gosh, no. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, remember, but the genie in Aladdin was good, so we could... Yeah, there you go. Um, somebody said, Sons of Gaming said, but taking one comic book from character from one ah. comic and putting it in another from DC to Marvel or Marvel DC, don't they already do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, Sons of Gaming. Yeah, they do kind of copy off of each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to get my tea real quick. Is that allowed? Why wouldn't that be allowed? Can okay, a, so... Can I have a 15, boss? I mean, is it a 15 or is it... Three. It's a three-second break. Okay, whatever. All right, so we got to go back and collect all the stuff we missed again. And it looks like there's some type of platform that helps me jump. And I can't fall off this mountain or I die. So that's good to know, I guess. Can I get up there? All right. Okay, cool. So where does this, what does this do? There's nothing here. There's nothing there, though. Why would they have that little jumpy thing there? There's no reason for the jumpy thing. Ow. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh, wait, I can climb up this, can't I? Because I'm a bear. There we go. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. All right, Mr. Bear. Uh, Let's go over... Nope, we already went there. So I need to find a safe way down. I guess this would be it. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Oh, there's water down there. I should be okay. Oh, gosh! Ah! No! I didn't mean to do this! Get away from me, shark! Whoa! Whoa! I love how they input the, uh... Scary, like, uh, Jaws theme. Yeah. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of the composer from Banjo-Kazooie, but I know he's very talented. I follow him on Twitter. I just can't remember his name. Kirk. It's either Grant or Kirk or something. I don't know. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, maybe I'm completely way off on the name. I don't remember. Uh, but I really like his stuff. He was the uh, Donkey Kong Country composer. He did Banjo-Kazooie. And he did some indie games, too. I like his style of compositions. Whoa! Okay, so what was... Is this just a practice thing? Yes. 
his name is Grant Kirkhope. I was close. Hard to say. It was close. I was close. I said his name was either going to be Kirk or... Yeah. Okay. Um... He composed music for games such as GoldenEye, yep. Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, Perfect Dark, and others. I thought he did the Donkey Kong Country series. Okay, so we have another one of these, like, note thingies. Okay, why do you have me here? What do you want me to do here? Does a bird, like, drop anything, like bombs or something on people? Like, how... How are you supposed to deal with these giant chests? You don't jump inside of them, right? That would be death. Maybe? Alright, games he's composed for. Donkey Kong Land 2... GoldenEye, Project Dream, Killer Instinct, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, Banjo-Tooie, Star Fox Adventures. Oh, he did do Star Fox Adventures. Great. Well, that was a rare game. So. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I never heard of that game. That's an Xbox game. Mm. It was so-so. Uh, Civilization. He did all the Civilization games. <laughs> Sid Meier's Civilization? Sid Civilization Beyond Earth. Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. A lot of the Civilization games. Uh, he helped on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Well, yeah. I know that. Uh, that makes sense because some of his... Ow! He was a composer. He worked on Minecraft Dungeons music. He worked oh. on music for Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. That's the new one. Mm, the newest one that's coming out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. He has... So he wasn't the composer for uh, Donkey Kong Country, though? That's mm. crazy. I thought he was. Wait. He has done voice acting as well? It says voice acting. <sighs> Rolls. Mumbo Jumbo. Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, that's Banjo Kazooie. It's his voice. Mm. Uh, Donkey Kong and Croc from Donkey Kong 64. He was the voice. Interesting. So he did the Donkey Kong voice, like the monkey voice. Mm, I guess so. I don't know. I don't understand this. Bumbo Jumbo again in 2019. And Donkey, he did Donkey Kong in Mario and Donkey Kong. Oh, darn. Mario Kart Arcade. Wow. So, not only does he compose music, but he also voice acts. That's a lot of things to, for one person to do. Mm -hmm. He also has done music for a few movies. The King's Daughter. I don't really know any of these movies. It's time to fly again. Really interesting. So he composes music for games, movies, and a little bit of voice acting. He's from Britain. He has gotten... He's been nominated for BAFTA, ASCAP, IFMCA, and different awards. He also was involved in casting voice actors for the Viva Pinata cartoon, and he was involved in the Viva Pinata game. Hmm. That was an Xbox game. It was meh. Alright, so we're flying his banjo. Why does it have like a giant X mark? What does that mean? Ground pound? I think that's where you have to ground pound. So once you see your shadow or something. Alright, we'll try Or maybe it. you don't have a shadow, but or you have to guess where you were. Ground pound! Good job. Oh, I missed. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. What? What does that even mean? Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Huh? Um, we're talking about Grant Kirkhope, the composer for Banjo uh, Kazooie. The, the guy who wrote all the music for this. Yeah, I already put my. I mean. It's not really a joke, it's just like I I found a picture of Mira as somebody else and she looked a lot better as the other person, so I just posted on Twitter. No, it was it was a joke. You made it up. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not real. It's right. not real. Right. 
It'd be great, but no. Just wait. I mean, it's kind of a joke, but I kind of would like that better. No, it, it, it is a joke. It's not. It's never happened. Right. It's fiction. I know it's fiction, but I'm saying it's not really a joke for me. Like, I would rather somebody else do it. Oh, I agree, but it's not real. <laughs> I made this one up. It's fiction. The bird must it's be really happened. strong to lift banjo. Um, throughout the game, the bird does, um, Kazooie does, uh, complain. She'll be like, you know, you, you know, you're getting kind of heavy there, you know, bare butt or something. Yeah, she makes fun of it. <laughs> He'll, uh, yeah, so Kazooie, like, she'll lift Banjo, but she is kind of annoyed sometimes. He did not do Donkey Kong Country, says Brady. Oh, wow. Interesting. Guys, what do you do with these giant treasure chests? Like, they... They're... I, I mean, I'm assuming if I go inside of it, I get eaten and then I die. So how do I kill it? Or I can't kill it. Oh, well, that didn't work. Oh. Composers, uh, main composer for Donkey Kong Country was David Wise. Oh, David Wise! Okay, now I know. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, David Wise, David Wise, David Wise. He was also a rare composer. Okay. David Wise is still around doing compositions, too. No, uh, Sons of Gaming, it's not bad. See, that's how I feel like it's not really... Like, if somebody, okay, if somebody's really tough on the job and they're mean to you, like, on set, like, they're rude and, you know, it, it was a bad oh, working shoot. experience, I feel like it's not really right to cancel somebody for that because, you know, you're at a job and whatever, but if, like, you know, but if you go out and, you know, <clears throat> you do what some other people have done where they try to ruin someone's life they were married to and they try to destroy them and all everything they've ever done and try to psychologically mess them up for decades. I feel like that's a reason why someone really should be cancelled because you're, you know, you kind of become a horrible human being at that point. So, I don't, I mean, I think like, if people have petty arguments about like what happened on set, like, yeah, like, it's kind of weird to try to cancel people for that, but when it goes really bad, when someone is really, really, really bad person, I think there's no reason they should be. But, yeah, this is my opinion. Okay, so I see I have to... Okay. Do flip to enter the big chest, says Unseen Vision. You want me to go inside of the chests? The shark! I know, right, Cassie? There's a shark. Thank you, Unseen Vision. That seems like a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna... What does that say over there? Oh, that's probably how you came inside the level. Over there. Oh, wait, no. I don't know. I hope they make a Donkey Kong game with dinosaurs. That would be crazy. Mm. Um, they might have some dinosaurs in some of the games. They might have one dinosaur. I don't know. I thought they did at one point. I don't know. But yeah, that would be great. I agree, Mac Daddy. Wouldn't it be cool to have Banjo be in prehistoric times? That would be really cool. They did that with Star Fox. Star Fox Adventures was <clears throat> a game where Star Fox ended up on a planet with, um... Uh, dinosaurs. Hmm. Oh, you guys should watch Sing and Sing too. They have animals who like to sing. Yeah, um, it's by Illumination. I did see the first one, um, uh, Shabazz. I really like the Sing movie, actually. I really like it. How do you kill it? Um, are you guys still uh, doing Amazing, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2? is Alex. Um, we are. We just didn't have time today because we had to do, like, some other stuff. Amazing. Spider-Man will start when Banjo-Kazooie is over. Like, yeah, we because... started Banjo because it's a new... It just came out on the, uh, ex extended service. Yeah. Expansion service. Yeah, we had no... Like, basically, I'll tell you what happens, guys and gals. 
when new games come out, or rather like big releases, our regular schedule changes. Like basically, our January content that we've been doing is filler. Because there's been no new games. Like usually, by the middle of January, they're brand new titles. There's only gonna be one brand new game that's coming out at the end of January. Into February. So whenever there's a brand new release, we cover it. Yeah, so we will finish Amazing Spider-Man... No, Amazing Spider-Man's done. To... Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, so we already finished Amazing Spider-Man. So, yeah, we'll do that after we do Banjo. We'll do We'll do Amazing Spider-Man 2 after we finish Banjo. And most likely, the Lego game is going to end up being, like, uh, going on hiatus in order for us to cover the new Pokemon game that comes out Thursday. Oh, right. So... We've been collecting. We just collected everything from the Barton Farm today. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate proud that. Proud of that. Yeah, you did a great job. And I hope we plan to do 100% in that. So well, we are. I'm gonna do 100%. You're gonna do 100%. Okay. Well. So basically, um, oh, did you go? You can go in there when he's. Yeah, I, I, I went in. There was nothing there. Oh. There was nothing in there at all. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, Pokemon Arceus, Arceus is, we're starting at, I believe we're starting it on Thursday, Thursday because, yep. um, because of an awesome superhero that, um, But we, can't, our, we can't, get in, can't get into it. And because of reasons, we were able to get, um, yeah. can't get because in. of very good luck and awesome circumstances and, you know, just all kinds of cool uh, help behind the scenes, we were able to get it. Yeah, that's all you can say. Alright, so it looks like... Uh, wait, I can't see where I'm going. I can say I'm very thankful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. So, yep, yeah, uh, we'll be able to do Pokemon Arceus um, one day before it releases. So, actually, I just saw the trailer with Steve Bloom, Bloom, whatever, whatever you call it, and he pronounced it Arceus, so... I'm gonna go with whatever Steve Bloom said. Okay. If he said Arceus, then I'm gonna say Arceus. That golden treasure was for me! Now harder still the game will be! <laughs> Ooh! Oh no! Uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 not the shark, not the shark. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. You never know, because sometimes in Japan they pronounce it different. I don't know. I. My brother used to get into this huge argument with his friend because he'd be like, Oh, yeah, so you're a Pokemon player. And his friend was like, No, in Japan, it's pronounced Pokemon. Okay. And he was like, Um. So sometimes when I'm like saying the name, I'm like, Pokemon, like on accident. Cause it, but I don't even know if his friend was full of. I don't know. I feel like his friend didn't know what he was talking about. I've never heard anyone in Japan pronounce it Pokemon. Just listen to how the guy who sings it says it. Mm. Yeah. I mean... The only reason he says Pokemon is because he's singing. He says Pokemon. So it's, it's yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Pocket monsters. Pocket monsters. Do -do -do -do. Mm. Look at Pac-Man. One of his powers is prehistoric. Or which you... Should we say Pat Kong? Also, Mac Daddy. Are they like ghost sharks? The sense of gaming. Um, I think it's supposed because it's the the, the uh, Nintendo 64 has limited graphics. It's implied that when the sharks disappear, they go back into the ocean and you can't see them anymore. Like they swim back to their home. Then they kind of appear. When they appear, it's like they're coming out of the ocean. Okay, so we I have think. gotten 66 notes so far. Uh, and we got some puzzle pieces. Hmm. I just okay. Somebody was saying there was a one of the sequels to Banjo Kazooie was prehistoric, but I never, I didn't know that. I'd love to check that out. That would be cool. Oh no. Um, just watch the Kwings Bat Inflect video. I was so upset that <sighs> WB has robbed us of. Oh my gosh! No! No! Oh, okay, you don't get he took, you He only, took a heart. He took a heart, but he didn't he didn't kill me. So if you stay in the water this whole time, yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, that's bad. <gasps> get on the box! Ah, ah, you can't get me, I'm on the box. Oh no. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, da da no, 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 no,
Okay. Thank you. Um, um Tyler says the I cannot believe that WB robbed us of the what is possibly the best Batman film ever made. Yep, Jay Olivia said it was the best Batman script he'd ever seen. And you have to understand this too. He's seen Matt Reeves the Batman script. He's seen the movie. He still says Ben Affleck's stuff is better. Yeah. Because, of you know, from a writing point of view and things like that, it was a it was a very unique concept. Alright, Luigi yep, 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 Funtime yep, 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 yep. says, I have a question for you, Luke. Mm. Um, thanks for the encouraging words, Tyler, about the Luke's video about that. Like, that's awesome. Um, I just kind of threw that together. I would have. I wish I had time to animate that and make it look really nice, but I don't. Luigi Funtime says, I have a question for you, Luke. Which Nintendo Switch games do you like the best? I really want to know. Mm, I've covered a lot of Nintendo Switch games. It's hard for me to pick something like that. I'm sorry. I've, like, the games that I like the most, we've done videos on or live streams. So, I mean, that's the best I can do with that. Mm, so, Sons of Gaming says, just like Aang in that one bad movie was pronounced Oang. Oh, wow, that's weird, Sons of Gaming. His name is Aang. Um. If you're unsure how a character sounds, listen to how they say it in the dub. It's not mm. Naruto, it's Naruto. It's not Pokemon, it's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Yeah, that would be weird seeing Pokemon with a Jamaican accent. Um, oh wait, poke, Pokemon. Wait. Oh. Pokemon. Yeah. Oh crap. I couldn't do it. That would be hard. Thing. Um, hey Shabazz says do 100% on Disney Magical World. All right. No promises. <laughs> we will look at the game, but 100% is not going to be something that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we. What are you saying about face cam, uh, Shabazz? I don't know if we'll do face cam because I don't know if we can get it working. Because last time we tried, uh, but I don't know if that's what you were asking. I think something got like auto corrected with what you're saying. No, we're not a we're not a face cam channel. Um, because we kind of like uh, it got it messes up our our um, video sometimes when we try to do face cam. It makes our gameplay footage look blurry. Amber, do not sing Baby Shark. Just kidding. Uh-oh, Tom. Mm. Baby. No, 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 Amber. No, that's that's really bad copyright. Mm -hmm. Stop. Brady says, my one wish for the K-Wings in 2022 mm. is for them to finish the games they have done. We'll see, Brady. I mean, there's going to be a lot of games that aren't really coming out this year, so we're going to have to go back to more filler. Like, we'll have to finish Tokyo Mirage yeah. Sessions. I've been feeling great. Uh, no. Whoops. Oh, off cam, says Shabazz. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying, Shabazz. I gotcha, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um... How do you fight that giant turtle? What does he do? Yep, 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 yep. So, yep, it'll be Valentine's Day, Shabazz. I'm excited. Hey, this is Nipper's Beach and find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us when you cross face in with something. Grr, cheeky bird, need feathers clipping. Oh, yeah? Just try it, shellhead. <laughs> oh, crap. I think you're better at the bird voice than me. Ow. Uh, feeble eggs, no match for nipper shell armor. Haha. <laughs> How are you supposed to hurt the giant turtle? If I was an extra in a pirate movie, what would I be? Ouch. Um, I think I'd want to be a mermaid. I wouldn't want to be a mermaid in real life because I feel like mermaids are creepy. But I'd want to be a pretend mermaid in a in a movie. That'd be awesome. I'd love to, like, swim around there as an extra mermaid. Just hanging out. Um, what about you guys? Uh, uh, Couch and everyone else? If you guys were an extra in a, um, pirate movie, what would you guys be? Have you watched the Pixel movie about Pac-Man? I don't think I have. No. Hey, Geos! No, you're amazing, Geos! Thank you so much! You guys are amazing! Off cam, can we do- Um, we might be able to do some things off cam, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Mermaids drown people, though. Well, I mean, I would just be a pretend one. Alright, we're inside the pirate ship now. Mm. Uh. 
I can't see. Is being a stick an option? Sure, Jim. Jim would be a stick then. <laughs> a captain says United Thrive. Black beer. Whoa, there be gold. Ahoy there! I be Blubber's treasure! <laughs> they all talk. Yeah. Blackbeard says Tom. A pirate says Brianna. A captain says you need to thrive. So how are you supposed to get... Just... I can't really change the camera angle though. It's kind of hard to see. It's okay Um, if you guys type something on accident. You... I mean, we know you didn't mean to type it if you like retract it or whatever. So no! Uh, a corpse, says Timothy. Oh, just a dead person lying there, Timothy. Oh my gosh. I'd be a captain, says United Thrive. I'd be a pirate, says Sons of Gaming. A kraken, says Sammy. Ooh, that would be fun. Captain Sora, says Raphael. I'm related to Bluebeard. Oh, interesting, Brandon. Mm. Ukulele gameplay, says Casey's World. No! Are mermaids evil, says Trisha? Um, sure. I think they are, but I mean. All right, um, guys, since I've never played this game before, how do you get over to the other side of the uh, pirate ship? Like, I'm not seeing another exit. Um, I will be all the One Piece filler, says Brady. Okay. I'd be anything but a land lover, says Oh. You are cracking me up, says Sons of Gaming. Mm. I'd be a mermaid, says Nintendo Lover Girl. Let's all set sail for one piece, says Dylan. There are some good mermaids and some bad, says Mac Daddy. Well, there you go. Aye, that be half of me gold. Check outside the ship, says uh, jo Jaffair. Jaffair. Okay. All right. There's a hole on the side of the ship, says OH. Thank you for the super chat, Unseen Vision says. You need to find another entrance to get the second treasure. Thanks, Unseen okay. Vision. I see it. All right, so we just have to go in here. Oh, man, this is really hard to steer. Based on lore, a lot of mermaids are evil. Definitely, Sons of Gaming. All right. Oh, wow, come on. Oh, there we go. That makes life easier. There we go. Okay. We're oh, in. it's ukulele gameplay mechanics. Oh, interesting, Casey's World. Hey, Casey's World, how's it going? Great to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Hello, um, great to see everyone. Sons of Gaming, Mac Daddy, Brady, Hey OH, Dance97. Trisha says I'd be a pirate. Awesome. Hey, Brianna. Great to see you, Tom. And uh, JD is here. Hello, JD. Hello, Nintendo Lover Girl. Great to see everyone. Hey, Couch. You could be a professional mermaid. Oh, yeah, they do have that job as a mermaid where you just. I don't know what the. I don't understand the job, but basically you just swim around in a tank. Okay. Like, it's a job. You can be a professional mermaid. Like, basically, like. I don't know if you really go to birthday parties or something, but it's like, they basically have, like, tanks of water, uh, like, at, at, like, I don't know, maybe, like, sea, I don't know if it's, like, Sea World, but it's, like, other places where people go and see fish, and then they have tanks where there's, like, people swimming in the water, and they have fins, and they're mermaids, and people go see the mermaids. Okay. It's, like, a job. You can be a professional mermaid. It's weird. But right, so we're gonna whoops, we're gonna give this guy his treasure back. You can swim slowly if you press A. This is unseen vision. Oh, if you hold A, maybe. Thank you, unseen vision. Oh no! It says unseen vision says sorry for all the super chats, but it seemed like you were having trouble. Yar, me treasure, thank ye, mateys, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Or spend, spend, spend. Okay, so he just grabs the treasure no, and leaves then. You never have to be sorry for the super chat. You're fine. It doesn't bother Thank us. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Yeah, we don't know if a video is going to get copyrighted, so your tips uh, really do help. Like, thank you very much. <laughs> Brady says the Cammons Let's Play's lore is getting very deep. Mm -hmm. It goes from mermaids being evil to something to do with babies being evil and hating mirrors. Huh? He's keeping track of all the lore. Lord. For the K Wings Let's Plays. Okay. 
All right, so that was the pirate ship. So how many? Never trust a baby. R. Yar. Hand down. Question for Luke. I love all your videos since 2012, all the way to 2022. Thank you. Says Shabazz, and I love your channel, Amber Gaming with KY. You're breathtaking, Luke and Amber. Thank you very much. Thanks you guys. so much, Shabazz. You know you're breathtaking, Shabazz. Mm. Thank you so much. All right, guys. How do we uh, defeat the giant turtle? Deanna says maybe people could dress up as a crab or seashell perform at little kids' birthday parties. Like the Masked Singer show. I guess. Yeah, definitely, Deanna. Fairies are evil to Amber as well, says Santa Pena. That's true. Okay, what were we trying to do again? I'm trying to defeat the giant turtle. <laughs> what? what? What are you laughing? What are you playing funny now? Well, I'll say ignorant. How about that? Uh, Brady's like, adding Luke to be being... He used the word dumb about the lore, but I think... So basically, Brady's saying, adding Luke to be not knowing about the lore to the lore. So he added okay. that you don't know anything about babies being evil to the lore. Okay, what else? Like, there is lore, but you don't know it. Okay. That's You're fine. like the lowest lane of our lore. Uh, uh. Superman is, is Clark Kent, but lowest lane has no clue. Mm. So she doesn't know about the lore of her own universe. Because the glasses throw her off. <laughs> I know. She doesn't know what's going on. It's like, I'm... I'm... I'm Clark Kent. Mild Men Reporter. Now I'm Superman! Yeah. Now I'm Mild Men Reporter. Mild Mannered Reporter. Wow, you Superman. can't say words. Mild Mannered Reporter! Superman! Yeah, um, in the Lois and Clark show, somebody made fun of her because she couldn't figure it out. Well, he was a guy from the future. She could not figure out that Clark Kent was Superman. And, and then she's like, like, I become like the world's biggest joke. It's like, actually, no, it's just that guy's a jerk. Like, people thought it was kind of sweet that you weren't able to tell. Yeah, everyone thought it was cute. But, like, that guy made fun of her because he was a villain. Yeah, well, I mean, adding, villains aren't nice people. Adding Amber being blonde part of the lore to the Sons of Gaming? Um, yeah, yeah. probably. Sons of Gaming says Amber losing her glasses is part of the lore, too. Uh. Amber, blanket of shame, meow, says Tom. Yep, definitely, blanket of shame. Uh, okay, that's right, we need tips. OH says, we were talking about tips and now we're all off topic. That's true, OH. All right, we gotta stay on target. To beat the hermit crab, says OH, stay away from its claws and hit him with the A and B buttons. Did he already beat the hermit crab? What do you mean by the A and B buttons? Can you explain? Because I couldn't, uh... Peck the crab, says, uh, Huff, uh, Jaffier, or Huffier. Oops, I don't uh... K the K Wing Cinematic Universe, the KWCU says Out Echo Games. Uh -huh. It's the lore of the K in Harry in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Mermaids are bad. Definitely Out Echo Games. Sure. I mean, some people like mermaids and some people think they're bad. I don't know what to say. Peck the crab says uh, Jeff here. Here's a tip, Timber. Blanket of shame is lore. There we go. Hey, Luke and Amber, could you make a comic book, says Huey. No. Sure. I'll make one. Uh-huh. Um... What is that? Uh, mm, I was thinking the same thing when they're gonna make a new Mario game. I hope it's Mario Galaxy 3 or Super Odyssey 2, says Mac Daddy. That would be amazing, Mac Daddy. I oh, want, no. I want another Mario Galaxy oh, game. Oh, dang it. <gasps> oh, he's oh, gonna no! Oh, oh no! God! Oh my gosh! Why is it Shark Food Island? Oh my gosh! Oh, it says Shark Food Island. You're going to die. Don't say that. He's gonna eat you. Stop it. I just want to see what happens when he finally eats you. Nothing good. Ghost sharks. It sounds of gaming. Whoa, that's... Did you read my last comment? Uh, I think so. Crabs almost kind of remind me of the crabs on Donkey Kong Country Return. Awesome, Mac Daddy. What, Use, is, what is this about? Uh, Use the rat-a-tap-tap rap when he's not 
clicking his claws on you says dream night. A and B buttons are the peck attacks, Zoe. Does the crab love money, says Michael. Uh, I mean, who doesn't love money, I guess. Hey, Cassie! Did you finish the first level in finding all the music notes, says Randall? Yes. And hi, guys. I hope everyone is well. Thank you, Randall. Um, yeah, we did get all the music notes. Amber, watch out for that tree. Thank you. All right, guys. What do what do I do for this? Peck the crab. It is super easy. You can kill the shark with eggs, hitting them from behind. Oh, you can kill the shark. How can you shoot eggs in the water? But I think he comes back. Yeah. I think he comes back. All right. So how do I do this, you guys? Like. Uh... Do I have to wait till the water's drained or something? Because I can't, like, hit the bottom. You need to put eggs in the bucket so it will drain, says Jess. Bucket? What bucket? You have to hit the eggs, put the eggs in the bucket. There's no bucket here. Do you see a bucket? I don't know. There's no bucket here. Blue Jincho is underneath the start pad. Beneath the water, says Unseen Vision. Thank you, Unseen Vision. It's by the boat, says Randall. By the boat? What? It's always nice to collect every jigsaw and note before you go to the next one. Awesome, George. We'll try our best. Glenn Ward says to drain the water from the can sand castle. Find the bucket on a ledge and fire eggs <gasps> from behind. Ah! From your behind. No! Oh, nuts. Dead again. The bucket is near the sand castle. You want me to try it? Jafir says, face palm. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have read that out loud. Yes, you have to drain the water first. Okay, thank you for the super chat, Unseen Vision. Uh. Yeah, I heard about your story about dragging a sailor to his death. Um, thank you, Sons of Gaming. I don't know if I should read the whole thing, but that was a very disturbing story. They go to a single guy and drag him down to his death. That's great. Thanks, guys. I wish my Nintendo Switch was alive now so I would be able to join the Mario Kart Smash and community streams. I will join on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Um... I don't know. Are we going to... I don't know if the internet will work for Smash Brawl on Tuesday. No. No. Um... It's... Possible I might do a Smash tournament in the early afternoon because a couple people, Shabazz and Nintendo Lover Girl, and a few other people wanted me to do on random Tuesdays a Smash tournament. Didn't you and do a Smash Brothers thing today? I did, but people wanted it again. Okay. Um, I had a few requests, a couple different requests for me. Mm. The shark loves banjo. Yup, the shark wants to eat Banjo, Cassie. Banjo's tasty. Oh, there's the crab! Oh, gosh. What are you talking about? Like, it's not that <gasps> Oh, look it! How are you supposed- What do you mean it's easy to hit? I don't even know where to hit him. I don't know. How do we hit him, guys? We don't know. Oh, you hit him with eggs, maybe, from your behind. I thought. No. No, you have to hit him in the face, probably. Like, no, in the face. You're not facing the crab's no, face. No, they just said you don't hit them with eggs. You peck them. I just pecked them. I got hurt. So what are they talking about? Oh, maybe about? you peck, peck the, uh... There's one confirmed evil mermaid, Mira. Uh... They see you. Uh... Okay, read the chat, honey. Oh, I am. Peck his face. 
You have to hit him at the right time, says Jess. Becca's face is dream night. When he stops, you have to wait for him to stop clicking his... F you wait, wait, no, stand really close to him, wait. No, you can't do it when he's doing his claws. You have to wait, what are you doing? No, you have to go up to him. You No, he's just stopped there, what are you I doing? I have to go get health, what are you talking about? I'm gonna die again. Oh, well, Don't backseat game. Look. When he's going like this, you need to stand right here. Then he stops for a minute, then you walk up to him and peck him, then walk away. That's what I was doing. It looked like as though you were trying to get to him while he was doing his claws. No, I was not. He stops for a minute, then you go up to him. Oh, sorry. What? Why am I not firing eggs? Amber, backseat gaming again, says Tom. Yep. I am backseat gaming! Sorry, honey. Annoying. Backseat gaming hype! No, not appreciated. The hype. Alright, so I did hit him once. Amber, backseat gaming again. We've talked about this last stream since so Sons of Gaming. Oh, I'm I'm into this. I'm hyped for backseat gaming. Let's hope they can make more 2022 PS5 games. Um, says Stuart, because I heard that PS6 will come out in 2026. No. I wouldn't. PS6 won't come out until like probably 2030. PS4 lasted a long time. PS5 is gonna last a long time. If I were a captain pirate, as a genie pirate, y'all could cop call me Captain Big Mac. Very cool, Mac Daddy. I'm picturing that now. Captain Big Mac, the genie pirate captain. Awesome, big. Awesome, uh. I almost called you Big Mac. <laughs> awesome, Mac Daddy. Uh, hey, hey, Tom. Wait for the crab to stop waving his pincers. Use ratatat. Wrap on him, then A and B. Oh yeah, we got it. Thanks, guys. We're inside a shell? Uh -huh. Is this not the most creati creative game you've ever seen in your whole life? Oh, no. oh my gosh. I cannot believe you're not a super fan of this game. But... It's okay. Wow. This game is better than Arkham, definitely. No. Yes, it is. I wasn't a huge fan of Donkey Kong 64 either. I like the Donkey Kong Country games. I didn't like Donkey Kong 64. I don't do well with 3D games. Like 3D platformer games like this, it's, just, it's hard for me to, to gauge like the depth perception and things like that. Yum! I want to eat a big. Uh, yes, uh, Big Macs are delicious to eat at McDonald's. Definitely. I haven't had one in so long. I mean, I usually don't really eat because this isn't like two 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 burger patties, and then they put the special sauce on it. I think I've had a Big Mac like once in my entire life. I usually get like a little hamburger happy meal or chicken nuggets or a chicken sandwich or I don't know what else. Breakfast food at McDonald's. Mm. These guys sure look crabby. This is Michael. Oh, that's okay. Unseen vision. Thanks for the. Uh... No, you didn't do anything wrong. Unseen like, vision. Like he said he tried. He, he meant to send a super chat, but he, it wasn't a super chat. That's okay. I read it anyway. No worries. Thank you, unseen vision. It was a good tip. Thank you. My bad. I wanted a super chat anyway. You're you're having crab cakes tonight. That's right, unseen vision. We're gonna dine tonight. We dine on crab soup. No, I can't have crab. Can't have shellfish. Poor crab, he was just relaxing on the beach and you attacked him. Ooh, we're gonna eat crab all week now. 
I just said I can't. We can't have crab. I don't know, Luke. That's all there is to eat. Then I'll starve. You know, there's the promotional video of Banjo Kazooie that still exists on YouTube. Awesome, Oids. That's interesting. On the YouTube website. Wow. You can backseat game. I don't mind. Says Doom soon. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I get to backseat game, Luke. Chat said I could. <laughs> Doom soon says I can. I don't want to know. Mm. Oh, the reason you call yourself Big Mac is because you're a big fella and kind of strong. That's awesome, Mac Daddy. Very cool. That's very cool. Oh, you have to be strong to be a, a genie pirate captain. Mm. Yep, definitely. Okay, people, I need more lore, says Brady. <laughs> it's very funny, Brady. Amber, there's always cereal. That's right, Sons of Gaming. There's always mm -hmm. air. You're making me hungry, Amber. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry, dance. Seven. I just got lethal. Yep. Sons of cereal. I'm very excited. So really? I'm going to finish my Arby's today. Are you really excited about it? Mm-hmm. You know why I got you cereal? Because you like me. Because of love. Mm-hmm. Alright, so where is... Hmm... No backseat gaming ever. No, I want to. I am also allergic to shellfish, but I only got my first allergy reaction a few years ago. Before that, I could eat shellfish all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with Luke, Jess. Um, yep. They taught us about that in culinary school and in nursing. I learned about that. Because uh, we had to take nutrition for both. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but like shellfish is like generally like everyone's kind of allergic to shellfish in a little tiny bit because basically shellfish are bottom feeders on the ocean so basically all of the I don't want to like make anyone feel sick or anything but like all the toxins and heavy metals that are in the ocean kind of end up in the shellfish so like it's kind of like the worst the worst for you kind of fish so like um Basically, if you eat too much shellfish over your life, then those toxins and heavy metals will build up in your body and eventually you'll become allergic to shellfish. So, it depends. It reaches a point where you've eaten so much shrimp or crab or whatever that you end up becoming allergic. So, you can actually become allergic if you eat a bunch of food. I don't like the shark! Oh! Go shark! Get Banjo! Get him! <laughs> Bite his tail! <laughs> I don't really have a tail. Get his little foot! Oh, I think he's got a tail! He's got a little tiny tail! Let me see! Turn around! I want to see a tail! Okay, that makes that sound good. Really that did sound good. Couch says, I just had shrimp for dinner, but I'm not bothered. Oh, thanks, Couch. Oh, wow. Sons of Gaming says, my sister is allergic to peanuts. We found out one day because I had peanut butter and then held her when she was a baby, but she had a really bad reaction. Oh, wow, Sons of Gaming. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad you guys found it out early. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that must be really hard to deal with. My dad is also allergic to cat fur, so Sons of Gaming. Oh, wow, Sons of Gaming. Kirby games were good in the days. Amber says Stuart. Definitely Stuart. They were good in the day. Hmm. They still are. Yeah, I'm excited for the newest Kirby game. Hey, Leroy, the taco dog. How's it going? Hey, Leroy. Hey, Couch. Hey, Brady. If they made a Princess Peach standalone game that takes place in magical world, what forms do you think she would have? Says Couch. Um, I think Peach would definitely be a mermaid when she went in the water. She could be a harpy in the air. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. She could be a um, she could be a Valkyrie flying in the air, or, or an angel, or what kind of? She could be a dove. 
What nice thing could she be in the air if she was a... She could be a bird. I don't know. I think... I wonder what kind of animal things would turn into. Oh, gosh. How do I you... think Peach would turn into a little cat. She did turn into a cat. Uh... Oh, the Paul Bunyan story? Very cool, Nathan. I don't like seafood, especially fish, says to me. Oh, that's okay. You're allowed to like what you don't like. Yeah. Oh wow, your dad's allergic to any kind of alcohol? Oh wow, Nathan. Yeah, that's one so hard. You have to be really careful because some medicines have some alcohol in them, like cough syrup and stuff. So then you can't even take medicine sometimes. Go to the next X on the spot, says OH. Dang it, Jaws, says Mac Daddy. I well, I got allergies, says Mac Daddy. Yeah, I guess a lot of people do. Don't worry, Luke. It's a baby shark, says Sora. Uh. It's funny. That is really funny. The shark eating banjo, cause, says Cassie. Yeah. I agree. I agree, Cassie. It is funny. Uh, Raphael says, yeah, bite his tail. That's right, Raphael. Oh, you're right. He doesn't have a tail. Yep. Banjo does not have a tail sticking out. Does not have a tail. That's so weird. Isn't it? I thought bears were supposed to have this little nub tail. A tiny little tail. Maybe he does have a tail, but it's like squished into like his shorts. <laughs> I'm poking. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Banjo has a tail, but it's in his shorts? Or do you guys think he doesn't have a tail? <laughs> I think he doesn't have a tail. He lost it in the Banjo War. He doesn't have a Banjo War. Aww, Tezzy says, I'm so happy you're playing this game, but the shark in this level really used to scare me as a kid. Mm. It is scary, Tezzy! Great to see you, Tezzy! Hope you're having a great day! Great to see you. I had fish yesterday. Awesome Nintendo lover girl. Guys, don't talk about food too much. All right. It'll Since... make people leave because they want to go eat. Since Banjo is a bear, does he like honey then? Um, probably Michael. He collects honeycombs for health, so I'm guessing he does like it. Do you guys think Yogi has a tail? Um, that's I... a good question, Cow. I thought Yogi had a tail. That's a really good question. It's scary because it is like a ghost shark, says Sons of Gaming. Maybe it is a ghost shark. Uh... I collect all these notes all over again. Oh, okay. I understand Dream Night and to avoid the Mercury stuff. Yeah, I'm supposed to not talk about food as much. But I, I heard, I saw your comment, and sorry your uh, sister's allergic to that. Okay. But who knows how many kids that shark has given nightmares to, says Mondra. It is really scary because they play the scary music, and it, it's kind of freaky. They're supposed to play the Jaws mu music because they want to scare people. <laughs> it is kind of scary. They did a good job. Oh! You found another mumbo jumbo thing. Yep. A bunch of mumbo uh, jumbo stuff. Oh, it says, yeah, collecting 100 music notes without dying is a chore. Mm hmm. Yep. I like the little bear amber. Awesome, Dance 97. Winnie the Pooh loves honey. Definitely, Cassie. Yeah, bears seem to really like honey for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just their thing. They like sweet things. Luke likes uh, fruit and stuff. You're still talking about food. Oh. Food is food. I'm very sorry. And I haven't eaten yet, so. Uh, I apologize very much. Oh, you barely made it. You were almost there. If you could just bear to try again. You 
gone in. Yeah. Good job, honey. Everything in Last this... time I had more music notes than before, though. I had, like, I was close to 90. Everything in this world has little eyes. Yeah. This makes me feel comforted. Why, but okay. I just want everything in my world to have eyes too. And talk to me. Like my plants, my fridge, I want my fridge to have eyes. Mm-hmm. Then like I want my uh, couch to have eyes. Oh, it's okay. Amber, you can come sit on me and I don't know. There's lots of throw pillows. I don't know. I'm so weird. All the clues. The TV the would have eyes. What you guys want to watch some TV? I'll turn on my screen. Here we go. All the clues. What clues? What show do you want to watch? Yep. Hey guys, what do they mean by follow the clues? What does that mean? What am I looking for? Have I seen Monster House? Um, I don't think I did see it. Um. Uh. <laughs> Nintendo Lover Girl says I saw the hairless cat on Luke's Twitter and it looked very cringy and she has a bar face. <laughs> Sorry for posting that, Nintendo Lover Girl. Awesome! Your profile pic is Banjo Kazooie! So cool, Cassie! I would love. Would you like to live in Wonderland? I sure would, Dream Knight. That would be great. Um, you can actually take the jumping clams out with a regular attack. And then you don't need to waste eggs. Okay, thank you, Macho. Swim for your life again, says Mac Daddy. LOL. Yup. He's gonna. Banjo's gonna be shark food. Follow the arrow, says Macho. Right, I don't know where. I don't know where the arrow is. I we know don't... where the arrow is pointing. It's pointing this direction, but I'm not seeing any treasure. I don't understand. Did I already get the treasure? Did we get the treasure? Does anyone know? We don't know where the treasure is. I thought the hairless cat looked like an angry, shriveled raisin. <laughs> this is Timothy. Oh my god. Look for another red X, says uh, Jafir. Okay, um, we're gonna look for the red X. Thanks, guys. Look, they said we're supposed to look for a red yeah, X. I know. I know what to do now. I know where the other is. You know where to do is. now. Thank you, Jafir. And I'm butchering most people's names here. Sorry about that. What else is new? There you go. There's more lore, Brady. Amber butchering people's names. To the point where, basically, people have to change their names to things like just Chad, so I'm able to say their name. Read my last comment. cat looks like a gremlin to Sons of Gaming. Okay, so Luke, may I ask you a question? Mm. So when you hit the red X, it, then it does something? It changes to oh, an shoot. arrow. No, I had to ground pound it. So. so if you don't ground pound, what happens? Well, you have to hit it. You have to hit. And then what do you do? You get more things to fly? I, I can only fly on these, like, patches. These Oh, Thanks. okay. So that's the only place you can fly from. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This game is more complicated than I thought it would be. I guess it's really fun for me to watch, but I don't know if it's as exciting to play. It's pretty frustrating to play, like, because if you die, like, you have to start all over again. Like, like you have to get all 100 notes for it to count if you get it. Like, it doesn't... Like, in fact, I don't want to do this again, so... Oh, thanks for helping me out in the chat, Couch. Hello, um, hey, Couch, hey, Batman, hey, Manjo. Great to see you, George, Dream Knight, and, uh, Cassie. Uh -huh. And hello, Tezzy. Alright, guys, what does the giant question mark mean? It just literally just means question mark. What does that mean? What exactly is going on with that? 
So we're just missing the green guy. Don't let that question mark fool you. So, so wait. Oh. The last X, X on the spot is that lonely island below. What lonely island? The one in shark. Oh, territory. so the question mark is supposed to fool you. It was like a, a, a fake. I feel like the controls are really hard to figure out for this game. Luke, you didn't X that one. Oh, the shark is coming! I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares. Okay, so we got another puzzle piece. It's treasure hunt. So seven out of ten. Yay! Banjo's doing great. I find it disturbing that Banjo is a bear with no tail. It's really bothering me now. I'm looking this up online. You Missed the jigsaw puzzle. There's one on top of the mountain. I already got that one. On the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Uh, I don't know. Thanks, George. You don't actually have to shoot the chest. You can also smash it open. Okay, two. Thank you, Majo. I smashed it, though. Because I felt like it. Luke, have you wa did you watch Far Away Paladin? Says Huey. Yes, I have watched uh, the first five episodes of Faraway Paladin. <laughs> I'm currently in the part of the show where he's left his mother and father, uh, Mary and Blood, and he is traveling the world. Um, so I will be starting, hope, maybe tonight, I'll actually get to start like the next arc. I, I thought the show was very interesting. It was... It was a little weird that his parents were undead, but, I mean, you know, it was funny. The thing that I didn't like about it, though, is, like, I like watching... I don't like dub. I like watching in subtitles. So, when I... Basically, because when I start Season 2 later on, it's all going to be in Japanese, and I have to get used to new voices for the characters. So, I don't like watching dub, because dub is always behind everything. But I couldn't find the subtitle version, so... Um, that was annoying, but oh well. Um, I like the story, and it's really interesting. But that's one of the main reasons why I like subtitle better, though, is I don't have to get used to, like, characters sounding a different way every time. Like, when a new season comes out. Like, because you have to wait a long time for, you know, people to dub a show. And some dubs just sound awful, says Macho. Yes. Some such dubs are really good. <laughs> oh, you guys are cracking me up. Sons of Gaming says, Amber, he has a nub. It's in his shorts. It's in his pants. <laughs> Thank you, Sons of Gaming. I feel much better Get knowing down that. Down. It's very distracting. I feel better knowing that. Wonderful job on the puzzle. Thank you, Cassie. You're amazing. Um... Timmy says, I freaked out when I saw that hairless cat. That's great. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My fall damage is super <laughs> Timmy says, I went, ah, what is that? <gasps> hey, Batman, how's it going? I mean, I don't think... Do we have to find all the honeycombs? I thought that was just life points. I need the honeycombs because I was going to die because of fall damage. Oh. Someone was asking if we found all the honeycombs. I didn't understand the thing. You made my comments so weird. I didn't mean to make it sound weird. I just feel better knowing that he has a tail. If I made anything sound awkward, I really didn't mean to. But I now I'm now I'm understanding that it does sound weird. Mm. You're strange, Amber. It does sound weird. Oh, I'm so sorry.
Sorry, Sons of Gaming. Ten more. Sons of Gaming's comment was normal. I made it sound weird reading it out loud. Some oh, comments so some comments aren't supposed to be read out loud. They're supposed to be explaining me. Like, I'm like, does he have a tail? Is it in his shorts? Where is it? People try to explain it to me. And then I read the comment out loud and it sounds weird. What is your favorite 90s cartoon, says Huey? Um, Too many. I don't know. Hey, Batman, how's it going? Great to see you guys. Um, I DM'd you something on Twitter. It was pretty funny, says Brady. All right, Brady, let me see if I can see that. <clears throat> There's another puzzle piece. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, Brady made a meme of us. Oh, he made a lore! <laughs> oh my gosh, Brady, you made K-Wings chat lore. Very interesting. Gaming channel. Oh, he has the tip of the iceberg and then underneath of it is all the lore. <laughs> like what is what is this iceberg thing? Here's I don't what you understand. see on the surf on the surface you see it's a gaming channel. Yeah. Streams daily. Couple is married. Then when you start to get to the iceberg, you get the, the things that you start to see right away in the channel. Luke getting lost, talking about cats, and a lot of unfinished games. Wow, Brady. <laughs> then you go a little bit deeper into the service. You've got... There's not that many. Mermaids are evil. Sailor Moon <laughs> issues. Mods and members. And Crom. <laughs> wow. Now you get a little bit deeper. <laughs> you get mirror people. Amber losing her glasses. And babies are insane. No, <laughs> no, you get deeper. You get hacking, Zen oh, maybe like channel hacking, Xenoblade, and Luke not knowing about the lore of the channel. Luke not. So, this part of the lore of this whole channel is that Luke doesn't understand his own lore. <laughs> uh, then you get even deeper, and you get to they haven't covered every game. The chat, why don't they have 1 million subscribers in the chat? Amber being blonde, Brady Power and Xenoblade love, and they they hide people in the basements, but it's a joke. <laughs> Amber doing something, and the world started with the K wings. Oh my gosh! And the <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Then you get to the very wait what? <laughs> Then you get to the really deep and dark where it is. Luke and Amber are robots. <laughs> Every video is personalized. Uh, I don't understand that. I love this. This is great. This is and I like weird. how you have a different photo to show the difference of basically us going mentally insane as we get down and <laughs> further and further down the lore of this channel. We start out looking normal with our cute profile pictures, and as we go deeper, we start to look more crazy. Here's a picture of Luke with it. <laughs> there, a little picture of Luke uh, uh, holding his like little Skeletor plushie by his little next to his shoulder. All right, guys. So, um, where is the? Uh, we need two puzzle pieces left, and we need five. Uh, what are they? Bananas? I don't know what they are. Musical notes. We need five musical notes left. Um, anybody who's played this game, like, a lot know where the other music notes are? I know one puzzle piece is inside of that, like, cave thing, but I don't know how to activate the banjo. You said I need... I don't remember what you said. Um, honey, I'm I'll gonna, go I'm, look at the chat. Again. Yeah, I'm gonna need your help with the chat. That's funny. Um, 
Thanks, Amber. That was fun. It was funny. Thank you, Brady. That was amazing. Majo says, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Do you guys think mermaids are real? Um, I don't know. I'm not allowed to answer that. Amber's weird. Don't let her answer that. Please. Yeah, they're definitely real. Just don't watch that video where they're like, mermaids are real and they have this creepy, like... I can't even tell you what the video is because basically it's so scary that after I watched it, I couldn't sleep at night. Amber, didn't I, didn't I ask you for help with something? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Focus, please. Uh, I'm almost done. I love seafood. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Did food. you go to the sandcastle, says Macho? What sandcastle? What's the sandcastle look like? Uh, okay, George says, on the lighthouse, on the top of the mountain. Me leaky, no good for water, can bear block hole with pebble. What? Oh, yeah. Ruga living in the, the part of the Ow! basement. That's right. Okay, what did, what, Amber, hand down. Stop Sorry. distracting me. What is, um, what do they mean by the bucket with the pebble? Am I supposed to pick that guy up? Bucket with the pebble. Hello, Omrald! Amber, pineapple, help Luke. <laughs> this is so yeah, we're almost done. Sorry. Alright, where do we need to go? Does anyone have any comments to help? Because I don't know how to help. Every video being personalized is a running joke in the ice first. Oh, okay, thanks, Brady. Very cute. I wish I could post that. That would be so cute. Uh, but if you post that, Brady, I'll retweet it. It's very, uh, or I can post it. That's very cute. On a Twitter or something. That's the bucket you need. Though eggs in it, I, I think people said. You need eggs in the bucket. I need to put eggs in the bucket? Where is the bucket? Uh... Yeah, you need to... You need, they need to go behind you. Like, you need to spit them behind you. Like, you need to lay them. I need, how do I? You need I, to violently lay them. How do I grab the bucket? You need Buckets. to eject, you need to eject them from behind. No, you just sit there and go with your back to it and do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked! Leaky, patched up now empty water for bear. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Cool. Okay. Thank you, Bucket. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say because I don't. I don't want to think of like the bird doing the other thing. I want to think of him violently laying eggs. Oh wait, I forgot the the bird is a girl. Uh, I've been telling you that, guys that. Sorry, Glenn Ward, thank you. He hasn't been paying attention. Now you can play the mini game inside the castle. Okay, thanks, so Oweech. All right, so this is for the puzzle piece that is number uh, nine. So we have to spell the name Banjo, probably. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Oh my gosh, okay. What a bucket head he was, definitely Omerald. What kind of bird is Kazooie? I don't know, Mumbles. Oh no, I just need two more music notes. Amber, blanket of shame. Yep, I need the blanket of shame, Tom. All right, so spell banjo. This part of the funny, if the water mine was still there. Yep. Go to the top of the lighthouse in the first mountain. Okay, thanks, Shabazz. Wait, where's the end? <laughs> Everyone's saying poop out the eggs, but I like to think of him as violently laying the eggs. I mean, like, usually you gracefully lay an egg. It's like just like nesting in your little nest, but instead it's like it's ejecting. Wait, the do eggs. I have to ground pound these? Uh, oh, maybe. Okay, B. Yep. A. A. And. Where's J? Where's J? 
What? Oh, way up here. Yay. Then Joe. Oh. I need to know. Kazooie. Okay. We need K? Kazooie's name. I know, I'm looking for a K. There it K. is. K A. A. Look at Z. 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 Oh. And there's one really towards you. There. This is a no? Mm -hmm. How do we spell Kazooie? I. I E. e. So an I. And an E. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first you'll cut. I'll cut you down to size. No! Oh no! The crab! He's gonna. Wait, yeah, maybe we stomp on him. There we go. Okay. Alright, guys, there's one more puzzle piece left. Okay, so oh. where's the last puzzle piece? And we need two music notes. Just two music notes. The crab lied to us, the sons of gaming. No, I don't think so. It's a wacky cartoon world. Definitely, Mac Daddy. Um, hey, Cyber, how's it going? Ground pound the letters. Thanks, uh, Cyber. Sorry I'm a little late on advice by everyone. Just need two music notes and one puzzle piece. Sammy says, Sammy Omane or Omane says, Kazooie is a Breagle. KY. Oh, a Breagle. That's interesting. Kazooie does not poop out eggs. She dispenses them. All right, okay. thank you, All right. Thank you. Question for Amber. Have you watched Barbie Prince's Adventure? No. Hand down and Amber. Barbie Big City Dream. Big Dream. Um, I may have watched Bar Big Barbie Big City Big Dream. Is that like a mini movie? I don't know. I may have watched that, um, Shabazz. That sounds really familiar. You have to grind pound the letters before the time runs out. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so late on all these. So I'm sorry, guys. We're looking for two notes. Find all five jingos to collect the last puzzle piece. Okay. Do you guys know, like, uh... Wait. Maybe there's something in here? I mean, no. there were three notes in that puzzle area in the water. I already did those. Oh. I just need two more music notes. Two more. I have no idea where they are, though. And I will tell you, we are... Whoops. We are missing the green guy. The green... The green guy. So, if you guys know where the green guy is, feel free to let us know, and we'll do our best to go find him. Hello, people of the chat. Hey, Irene, how's it going? Hi, Irene. Hey, Water Lily. Hey, Cyber. Hey, Mac Daddy. Great to see you. OH and Sons of Gaming. Hey, Glenn and Tevia. Um, great to see you. Jaffair. Jaffair. Uh, Dream Knight and uh, George. Hey, Omar Alt. Sons of Gaming and uh, Macho. Everyone, hope you guys are doing great. Great to see you, Geos World, and everyone. He's on top of the mast of the pirate ship, says Jeff Bear. We already got that one. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. The green s cricket is on top of the ship, says Christopher. It's a cricket. Do you guys know where the, uh, the last two music notes are in this game? In this level? In the treasure trove? We only need two notes left. Oh, right, you have to get it all in one go, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it would be so much easier if you could just go find them later. Apparently, and there's no life left, so I can't get hit anymore. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it's somewhere in the treasure area. Check the sandcastle, says Tevia. Oh, there's something. Oh, that would be an extra guy, but you can only have nine extra guys. Maybe you could fly and then look over everything and see if you could see any music notes from afar. I'm gonna try to fly again, yeah. The animals are crazy tonight. I don't know what's going on, lol, says Simons. 
the real life animals or in animals in this game, Simons? Oh, animals in the game. Oh. You don't have to 100% all the notes to beat the game, says Phantom. No, I know that. Well, we're gonna try, I guess. But thank you, Phantom. Oh, there's somebody that we're supposed to get. Got him. Wait, we got all five or six of those? Yep, we just need two music notes all right, left. so we're just kind of cruising around, seeing if we can see a music note. Basically. We could always, we could have always stopped there. Oh, we're gonna grab the last green guy, or the puzzle piece. Darn. Oh, <gasps> oh that was a puzzle piece right there. I know, but I was losing altitude. If I, I didn't, if I crashed, then that'd be bad. Oh, I know. Oh, there we go. We can just pick up, a, go to another pad and go up again because you only have one. Oh no, I have 32 feathers. Oh, it's so hard! Oh no, this is hard. Oh my gosh, weird gameplay mechanics. Oh, you, you can, can climb! climb up it, yeah. There we go, that's all 10 puzzle pieces. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yep. Thank you for the super chat, Irene! Thanks so much for hanging out! Okay, we stopped that weird thing. So where's the last music notes? Driving me crazy. Was Luke in the other stream? No, because um, uh, he had a Batman lore video last night. No, uh, Sozlowski. Or he had a Batman video yeah. that he was doing, so he had to wait. Uh, he was up all night doing that, so that Luke still had to sleep. Yeah. I had to write my thoughts down, and I also had to double check and make sure like all the stuff I was saying matched up with what the accounts were. Unseen Vision says, congrats to, on finating all the- Ah! Ah! I see it, 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 I see it. Okay, I know where the last two are. Congrats on finding all the Jiggy pieces. Thank Jigsaw you. pieces. Thank you, Unseen Vision. You're amazing. Thanks for this super chat, Irene. Thank you so much. Darn. Hey, great to see you, Simon. Hello, Christopher. Hey, Tevya and Irene. Hello, Mary. Good to see you, Michael, and Water Lily, Mac Daddy, Hello Oh and everyone. Collecting all the ten puzzle pieces means you've cleared the world. Awesome, Oh. There we go. Oh, you found all 100 notes on this island. Okay, we got everything. Let's double check. Oh, yeah. Yep, everything's done. Except I didn't find any feather here, but whatever. Mm. We can always come me. back and get it another day. Or not. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> no! No, 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 Oh no. Yep, I know where to find them. This is why I made that save, because I'm not going through that again. This is why I'm not going through that again. Oops. Nope. So we know where the, the green thing is, we know where the last puzzle piece is, and we know where uh, the last so the music seriously, notes are. seriously, after you get all of it, if you die before you get out of the level? Yep. That's oh, no. terrible. Yep. Um, I just have to go grab something real quick. Whatever. Dun, 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 dun. So I just need to fly up, gather the stuff again, do the puzzle piece one more time, and we're all done. Hooray! Oops. 
Bro. Oh, crap. It shouldn't have caused that much damage from that fall, though, because I slid off something. Whatever. Yeah, that's... that's I was smarter than your average bear to make the save state. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, there'd be no end to this stream. Banjo, the smartest bear around. Uh -huh. I don't know about that, but... Majo said the higher you are, you actually take more damage. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see that now. Understood. You found all the music notes on this world. Is there like a a little flying platform way up here or no? You could save right now since you found all the music notes. Save, save. Somebody was saying if you get all the music notes and you die, you still you still it still saves it. Yeah. And that's why Luke's my gaming hero, says Irene. Aww, very sweet Irene. Back off, Mr. Shark! You're our gaming hero, Luke! Come on, Luke, you can do it! Help Banjo and Kazooie through it! And when all the note collecting is done, it's time for Banjo tomorrow with more fun! Uh, for uh, everyone! Okay. Oops. Dun dun. All right, there we go. That's everything now. Yeah. And we just have to leave very carefully. Uh oh. Not uh oh, we just have to leave. Alright, we just have to leave. Sorry. That's fine. Wait, is this the way out? Yep. This is the way out. This reminds me of Diddy Kong Racing for some reason. <clears throat> Probably because it's from the 90s! Wow! Your best note score in this world is now 100! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Ta da Chew okay. on that! Uh, so, I don't know where we're going next time, but- OH! Well, that's a good place to end. Yeah, I don't know where we're going next time. I don't know where we're going next time, Dad. Mm. So it shows you 19 puzzle pieces, all that fun stuff, blah blah blah. Hooray! Wait, how many- how many music notes? We have 200 music notes. Cool beans. Cool. Okay. Alright, so. Alright! The next stream will be starting up at 11, guys. It's time for dinner for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys had fun. And uh, Banjo Kazooie will be back tomorrow at um, 5 o'clock, is what I'm shooting for, because I'm not staying up late to do a Batman video. In fact, I'm going to bed after making some shorts. You can have it at 8 every time, isn't it? No, I don't want to do it at 8 every time because there was there was less people. Last time we had close to 200 people. Today's uh, top amount of people was around 155, which is excellent, actually, for a game that is from 1998. So you guys rocked it. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are amazing! Thanks for all the tips and tricks. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out in the chat and watching one of the most fun, puncher, happy games ever. Banjo Kazooie! Oh. Can you stop putting your glasses places? I almost smashed them. Oh, me 
Wait, where are my glasses? Oh, my, oh God! my gosh! They're right there! My glasses! I can't see a thing without my glasses! You are real life Velma. Huh. Alright, guys and gals, thanks again, Simon and uh, Couch, for helping us out in the chat. You guys are really invaluable. Thank you guys for all your help. Thanks to all our uh, members and all viewers and uh, everyone and Twitch members and all that stuff. So thanks, guys. And we will see you guys next time for another stream in about a half an hour or maybe at 45 minutes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya. <laughs>